grab your pen and paper because today we are going to take the U.S. versus U.K. book cover challenge. Hi, I'm Kim the Paper Traveler and I am a lover of beautiful artwork on books and it's great when the content is good too. But that's what I think draws you into a book in the first place. So I want you to take this challenge along with me and see which book art you are most in favor of the US or UK, but I will, however, allow a tie. Now, all of these are new releases for 2022. They've already been released or getting ready to be released. So let's get started with the first one. This is a book that was released in March and it's the Kaju Preservation Society by John Scalzi. So here is the US edition and here is the UK. Well, for me, that U.S. edition is one that I saw first. It was available on NetGalley, and I knew I immediately wanted to read it. So later on, I checked out what the U.K. edition looked like. Well, for me, this one, <laughs> I don't like books that do this. I know why publishers do this, but the author's name is so big. It's bigger than the title of the book. I don't agree with that part. For that book, even though that is beautiful artwork. The U.S. edition just seems so clean and simple, but attention grabbing at the same time. So one point for the U.S. on that one. The next book is Fairy Tale by Stephen King. It was released in September of this year. This is the U.S. edition and here is the U.K. edition. Now I have read this book also and I think both book covers depict the storyline. This uh, U.S. edition depicts when he's going down into this land, and the U.K. edition depicts where he is in that land. However, the U.S. edition, that one immediately drew my attention. I originally thought that was a dragon's eye, but once I got looking at it closer, I realized it was a spiraling stairs. So, I definitely picked the U.S. edition. And an additional thing that I loved about this book, the stonework here, you can actually feel the texture with your fingers. I'm a big texture person, too, about books. And the lettering of Stephen King. Even though his writing is bigger, it's done in a way where it separates the title from the author there, and it's just so beautiful all over. Love this edition. The next book is Eversion by Alistair Reynolds. Now, this doesn't take very long to figure this one out. The UK edition was released in May, and in August, the US edition was released. How boring is that cover? I mean, seriously, I think the only people that would pick up this book are people that are fans of the author. But if I had my choice, and I did, I picked the UK edition. This is so beautiful. And not only is it beautiful, I think it depicts the story itself. And as a side note, if you haven't read this, I think this is a book that's better, would be better on a reread because... It's one of those that you're confused most of the book and I reread would uh, reveal things more to you. Next is a book that came out in January. It's The Daughter of the Moon Goddess. So here is the US edition and here is the UK edition. Now, I think both of these books are so, so stunning. But if I were to purchase one, I think that I would definitely purchase the U.S. edition. There's something about the coloration of that one that I like better. However, I would not be opposed if I were an owner of the U.K. edition. They are both beautiful, but I will choose the U.S. edition. The next book is Upgrade by Blake Crouch. This book came out in July of this year. This is one I have read as well. Here is the U.S. edition and here is the U.K. edition. I know why they designed the U.K. edition as they did. It's sort of like a DNA there and you can see inside of that the figure in there. He's running. But just looking at the cover right away, which one would I pick? I would pick the U.S. edition just because it's 
just so clean and simple and attention grabbing. Where this other one just looks like some old same generic book that I would see anywhere. Now, however, having read Blake Crouch and I know I love that author, you know, I could see how people would pick that for the author's name. However, book covers, you us wins that one. The next book is The Witch and the Czar by Elia S. Gilmore. So here is the U.S. edition and here is the U.K. edition. The U.S. edition came out in September, but the U.K. edition doesn't come out until December. Now this one, I love them both. I definitely need to give a tie to both of these. It's just both of those covers just draw me in in different ways. This U.S. edition just kind of has an ancient look to it, but just the U.K. edition, it's just so beautiful, and it just looks magical looking when you look at that cover. The next book is Mickey 7. This came out in February of this year, so here is the U.S. edition. And here is the UK edition. UK edition, hands down on this one. It's just, the artwork drew me in instantly in that one. And I knew I wanted that edition. For me, again, even though the artwork is beautiful in the US edition, it just looks like any other book to me. It, it definitely speaks sci-fi. It does its job there, but... I think the UK edition just sets it apart and it draws the reader in to wanting to buy that edition. Well, at least it did me. The next book is A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. This came out in February of this year. At the time, I was a member of the Book of the Month Club, so I got the US edition of this book and it looks like this, but the UK edition, I happened to see it later on. Oh, it's so, so lovely. Now, this is a book. This UK definitely wins that one. This is a book that I have not read yet. However, if I read it and I enjoy that book and I want to keep it for my collection, I think I will go with the UK edition because there is a sequel coming out fairly soon. And if I want to collect more in that, I want to collect editions that I love. UK wins that one again. The next book is Stone Blind by Natalie Hayes. This came out in September in the UK. Here it is. But in the US, it does not come out until I think February of next year. Which one? Now, this was a tough decision too, but there is something about the face on the US one that I just felt it was a little weird looking. So for this one, I chose the UK edition. However, I must say, if I read this book and I wind up loving it, it might be another one that I would collect both editions of. But UK for now. What's your score so far? The next book is The Cloisters by Katie Hayes. The US edition comes out in November. However, the UK edition doesn't come out until next year. Now, all of these release dates are tentative because sometimes in the book publishing community, dates changed. But as of now, they're saying January the 19th. So US, UK, definitely. Definitely UK on that one. That is just so beautiful. I love that one. US, I would give it a pass. I, I would just look by on that one. I first noticed this one when I was uh, scanning Black Whales. I love looking at what books are coming up, and that one just captured my attention. Even though it is coming out earlier in the US, I'll wait for that UK edition. The next book is Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver, coming out in October in the US and the UK. Here's the US edition, and here's the UK edition. US wins that one right away. The UK edition, another book that you may pick up just because you love that author, but that cover to me is boring. It's just like any other cover. It doesn't capture my attention. However, I love the pictures on the borders of the U.S. edition and definitely, definitely want to have that book. The next book is an anticipated release from Brandon Sanderson, The Lost Metal. Both of these are released in November. So here is the U.S. edition 
and here is the UK edition. Could they make the covers of the US edition any uglier? <laughs> My conundrum about this is I have not started reading the Mistborn series yet. And even though the first three books that I own of that are absolutely beautiful, after that has this picture of this guy in here. However, those are the ones that I have collected so far. So I feel a motivation to keep collecting the ones in the same series, but I will tell you the UK editions win hand down on this one because I hate covers like this. One reason I haven't read any Jim Butcher books yet. Uh, you know, which one I'm talking about. The next book is Sundial by Catriona Ward. This came out in March of this year. And here is the US edition. And here is the UK edition. They are both beautiful. I just love them in separate ways. It almost feels like it tells two different stories. This one looks creepy. The US edition does and the UK edition. It's just something about things wildlife is what I think about that one. However, Catriona Ward is an author that more of the creepy undertone. So I feel like the US edition of this one would be one that I would want to own with this one. It just really, that creepiness really, really draws me in. The next book is Electra by Jennifer Saint. Here is the U.S. edition that came out in May of this year and in April the U.K. edition was out. Hands down U.K. on that one. Those shiny beautiful covers just do something. Oh absolutely love those. Ariadne same way love the U.K. editions. The next book is The Ballad of Never After. Both of these editions came out in September of this year. Here is the U.S. edition and here is the U.K. edition. Definitely, definitely U.K. edition of those. And have you ever noticed that it seems like U.K. editions, once they sell out, they don't get those back in oftentimes. So that's one of those things. I go ahead and purchase it when I see it even though I may not read it anytime soon. I'm telling you this because this is the sequel to Once Upon a Broken Heart. I've not read that book yet either, but I wanted to have this for my collection when the time comes to read it because there is an extra bonus to this book that makes it even more beautiful. That inside cover there. Oh yes, definitely. Definitely love that. Okay, I'm going to ask you one more question, but hold on. Let's total up these scores first. U.S. 6 and U.K. 8. And there was one tie. So, U.K. 1. I wasn't surprised by this. However, I thought that the U.K. editions would be higher. It just seems like those are ones that I tend to gravitate more toward. But uh, I was a little surprised about that, that uh, it was so close. Now I want to ask a question for all of you beautiful book lovers. Say you're collecting a series, but you can't make up your mind which editions you like best, US or UK. Should you collect them all? Now I have a question about this certain series. This is the Tales of Morgan Crow. This is a middle grade series. Here is the US edition. And I love this book. I love the look of it. I love the size. I love the texture and the feel of this. And uh, inside, it's just your ordinary book, of course. But I just love the compact feel of that. And then when you look at the UK edition online, it looks like this. And it has the shininess of it. Even though it's beautiful, I tend to gravitate more toward this one because I love the size of that. However, maybe you might have gotten on booktube and you see there is something special, extra special about this UK edition, such as this. Look at that. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, you need to have that edition, right? And you almost just want to display them like that. So which one do you collect? Do you collect the one that you like that artwork on or this one or both? This series, I sadly missed out on the UK edition of the first one. And that is one reason when I see books that I want to collect, I go ahead and get them if possible. You never know. 
Well, thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you put your scores down below. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts or what are some of your thoughts about the book covers in general? What was your favorite of all of those? Also, I'm sorry if I caused any of you to purchase 